Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. This is WWE 2K20 My Career Mode Episode 3. And we are here for the Winter Fest event. So, ladies and gentlemen, it will be Brittany Valentine's first ever debut match here in the RFA Wrestling Show. Or probably somewhere else, who knows? So, let's see how this is going to go down here in Episode 3. Let's get it. Man, I'm freezing. What are the chances I can bring this out to the ring with me? Zero. But you should be plenty warm out there with all the hot air you produce. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't have a bigger <laughs> career with singers like that. <laughs> Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to make like seven connections to get here from Orlando. Oh, hey, Peyton. No problem. I appreciate you doing me this favor. Red and Trey, this is Peyton Royce. We met when she trained here in Calgary, and now she recently signed with NXT. So who am I facing tonight? And by the way, it's cold enough to freeze the tail off a brass kangaroo. Can I have this heater out there for my match? Oh, sure thing, Peyton. What? You'll actually be facing Red tonight in her first ever match. Mm -hmm. Wow, it, it's an honor. We actually watch you on NXT all the time. And at least when my friend Trey here isn't hogging the laptop and watching weird videos of who knows what? No. <laughs> She's <laughs> kidding. I told you to stay out of my browser history. Wait, did you say this is her first ever match? Yeah, Red's only been training for about three months, but don't take her lightly. She's really good. Three months? It took me longer than that to get here. And what kind of stupid name is Red? If anything, with your lack of experience, you should call yourself Green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Anything she says with that accent is funny. After I'm done with you tonight, you'll understand why they call me Red. Because all that pretty white snow out there will be stained red with your blood. And then every time it snows, the children who were here tonight will be reminded of the carnage they saw and refuse to go outside. And after you spend weeks in the hospital and are finally able to drag your broken body onto the airplane back to Orlando, the pilot will be so terrified by the sight of your mangled face, he will lose control of the plane, sending it crashing down to the earth. Whoa, and whoa, 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 whoa. Oh she my god. She is you very have great in major problems. issues. Just an anger way. Uh what the heck was that? The old hot head red comes out when she gets angry. We've been working on dialing it back. I like the intensity, but just focus that on your match, okay? And if you can take a break while you're painting the snow red with Peyton's blood, maybe stop and soak everything in. This is your first match after all, which is a big deal. It's on our list. Sorry, you're right, and I'm happy you'll be out there with me. I'm gonna go stretch. Should I tell anyone with kids to leave? Nah, she'll be fine. Oh my goodness. I hope. Boy, oh boy, that was something. The way she gets angry when she talks like that is intense. Just like how Montez Ford used to say back then in Monday Night Raw for those few weeks intense oh my goodness so much fire I suppose she didn't say that she's gonna have the snow all melted when she get in that ring my god what is gonna beat her up oi I suppose this is not a co-op mode for this <laughs> all right here we go oh what what it's snowing outside Oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 glitch, glitch, there's a glitch. Oh, no, there's a freaking glitch on her hair. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, 2K, hashtag fix WWE 2K20. That's all I got to say. Fix this nonsense. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Oh! Got it with that clothesline. Goddamn. I can't counter. Because I'm freaking buffed. Oh boy. Oh! Come on, give me another, give me another. What? I pressed triangle immediately! 
Oh no, now she's doing that stupid iconic pose, really? Oh! I thought she's gonna freaking take me outside. <laughs> what the hell she about to do now? Oh! Okay. Okay. Well, apparently it was, it's a heel after all, so, you know, I'm giving her a few hits. Come on. Oh, what the heck? She just did the Widow's Peak? Oh, my goodness. Come on. There we go. What? She didn't even went outside. That's messed up. The hit detection in this is horrible. Oh my god. Nope. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what is going on with this? What is. Yo, the hit detection of targeting someone is so wrong. Oh my goodness. These guys was right. Oh, now she hits her. Come on, man. There we go. Oh my god, you can see the hair, dude. It's flying around. What the hell? I'm trying to do a freaking leg maneuver. Like, oh my god, they switched it up so much. Look at that, I'm one o'clock by out of nowhere. I'm trying to go ahead to yellow, yo. Oh, here we go, backside driver. There we go. It's clear Riley Flash has a gem of a student here. Oh, what the hell? Oh! Holy crap! DDT right on the apron. Oh my god, the glitch. The glitch. What's Paint Roy's doing? What the hell? A chair. Oh, there we go, Trey. Grabbing it. Oh, drop kick. Nicely done. Oh, boy. I gotta get hit to red health. Here we go. I should have that freaking, uh, the pin John. Clothesline. Oh! Got caught by that kick. Good day, Peyton. Uh, koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities. What kinda is like Trey you. doing? And uh, 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 the Great Barrier Reef is more like the just okay Barrier Reef. And and and, and boomerangs are a sham. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, oh, your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. 
<laughs> that was enough distraction. Uh oh. DDT! Alright. Okay. You know what? Here we go. Got it! And it's over. It is over. Oh my goodness. The hair! You gotta be kidding me! Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, what the hell? It's two pages. My goodness. Show you what that crazy distraction. Can't tell that was scripted or not, but it happened. Red one. Right, let's get to the next scene. Oh no. That was awesome. It was everything I've ever dreamed of. <laughs> I'm numb with excitement, or maybe I'm just frozen, but either way, I get to cross two things off our list. And you did it without emotionally scarring any children. <laughs> Wrestle first match, and win first match. Nice of your mate to help you out there tonight. Maybe if I see you again, I'll have some backup too. I look uh, forward to it. By the way, I didn't really mean any of the things I said out there. Especially about you having the personality of a koala. You're way more pleasant, and I'm actually a big fan of your people's blooming onions. You're a total bogan. Bogan? Wait, is that a good thing? I don't think so. Congrats on your first win, Red. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And you're not going to either, Trey. What do you mean? It's been a last minute change of plans. My surprise opponent for tonight was injured. Is that who I think it is? Tell the breeze. That's right. It's me. King of Cuteville, Prince Pretty. Unfortunately, I slipped on some ice and stubbed my turning toe. Your turning toe? Yes, the most important toe. E.I. The toe one uses to turn on a runway? Ugh. I can't stand non-models. Anyway, it's a shame all these uggos here tonight will no longer get to see me compete against Riley Flash. Not that it would have been much of a contest. I mean, look at this man. I have let myself go. He couldn't lace my boots on his best day. To be fair, some of my finer boots are slip-ons that don't have any laces, but you get the point. Anyway, Trey, I need you to take Tyler's place against me. What? I, I thought you said I wasn't ready. You're not, but I liked what I saw from you out there during Red's match, and also I don't have any other options. All right, I'll do it. First match. Do you want a picture to commemorate this moment? That'd be great. <laughs> the hair glitch, man. Oh, wow. Nailed it. I'll post it for you. Hashtag, mmm, gorgeous. Tyler Breeze is Tyler Breeze. He's Prince Pretty. All right. You know about fashion. Obviously. Go on. Well, I already went out there once tonight, so I want a different look for my match against Riley Flash. Do you have any last minute suggestions? Ah, the classic quick change, as we models call it. Well, when I look at you, I see three options that fit the theme and location of this show. Elmer Jack, Prince Pretty, Speed Skater, what the hell? Yeah, I'd rather go to Prince Pretty. But I swear to God, if it's not the... Hold on. Who wore it better? I'm kidding. We all know I did. Good luck, Prince Not-So-Pretty.
Wait, so you telling me I gotta wear somewhat the same attire as Fick and Tyler Breeze? Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Oh god, I'm, I'm about to look ridiculous, but I hope it's the attire that I that I have on. Not the previous attire that you've seen at the at the tryout, uh, the gym. Not over there, but I changed I changed up a, a little bit. So yeah. Oh boy. Oh my wow, goodness. That's an interesting look. You don't like it? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's just that maybe you should worry about the actual match, you know? I know you don't like to hear it when it comes from Riley, but he has a point. You might be too focused on everything other than what happens inside the ring. People remember cool entrances and costumes. Entertainment is what makes wrestling great. Wrestling makes wrestling great. Well, there's more than one way to thread a needle. Actually, there's only one opening on a needle, so... Whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, what's more important is you're going to have your first match. So have a great one. And entrance, too. Thanks. Oh, boy. Well, here's the, here's the problem. My entrance is not going to match with that Tyler Breeze outfit on, okay? Because the attire that I actually have on originally not the Tyler Breeze one originally is the one that I want to wear but I did not expect to choose an outfit out of nowhere so it happened thank god I hope this is not horrible <laughs> oh boy here we go folks <laughs> Winter Fest Champion, 2015. Oh my, wait, 2015. Oh wait. So basically the Universe Championship didn't, didn't even exist until like two years then. Uh, you know what? Anyway. I'm facing Riley Flash. So here we go. That's that, ready hot. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, oh, wait, they're booing this guy. I'm probably facing a 47 year old man or something, I don't know. Damn, gotta find a cold? Jesus. I'd rather be at Baghdad. I'd rather go over there, the Middle East. Go where the troops are at, you know? I don't mind the sun, but the cold? Hell no. Me being half naked in the cold wrestling? Hell no. That's too much. Oh boy. So I'm guessing Riley Flash is the uh, somewhat the coach of uh, Baron Blade. And I'm guessing between this year all the way to whatever year, which is probably like, what, 2017, I think? Or 2018? Baron Blade is there, but yeah. Riley Flash. Or Ripley Flash, I don't know. Oh boy. Right, here we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh. oh! Come on, come on. There you go, there you go. Oh! 
what? This big heavy dude. There you go. Uh, good, good, good. You can't reverse for a amount of time. What the hell? Yo, can I like? <laughs> Yo, what the hell? That was weird. Let's see what I got. Ah. Uh, Come on, come on, daze yourself, daze yourself. Ah, really? And he did it back neck with her. Nah, 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 that's supposed to be counted. That don't count. That do not count. Uh, you know, that one, I didn't push the button. Uh, to oh! Here we go. Did it, hey! There we go. Near the bottom barrier. What? <laughs> oh, come on, man. The bottom barrier? I'm taking I'm just trying I'm just trying to take a wild guess. I'm guessing Shit. Oh Yes, well out of the ring. There you go. The bottom barrier. I'm guessing Man, I don't know what the hell the bottom area is. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, okay. I got it right. <laughs> I got it right. Oh, what the hell? Oh. What the hell? Is he stuck? Oh! Come here! Help me out! Come here! Come here! Help me! Ah! <laughs> the way he screams! Oh wow! I was like, why is he stuck? I was like, he said, hey, hey, like, hang, like, hang. I was like, what the hell? Oh, nice! Nice, nice, nice! This good elbow. Or this good form, I don't know. And it was a Gary. The hell? CM Punk. What the? Really? <laughs> anyway, I need to get into Red Health. There we go, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Hey, Kwan. Surfbird. Oh, snap. Oh! I'm on the 81%. Oh, nice. I said freaking circle, man. Really? Uh oh. Oh! Uh oh, I think I busted open. Oh, rolls out of the ring again. Smart, smart. There you go. Alright, here we go. Get ready for it. He rolls in the ring. Bow! Got him! Oh, he kicked out of it. Oh, come on, Troy, really? He kicked out of it. You don't hear your music, you idiot. Uh-oh. Oh, fun atomic drop. Got him with the wind-up right hand punch. 
And it's over. Damn. Right, Riley won. Hey, I want to thank everyone for coming out to the show. And also, it needs to be said that I had two students who had their very first matches tonight. Red, who beat Peyton Royce earlier. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? And now Trey, who had a good effort on short notice, but got a little bit ahead of himself. We'll work on his counting. Trey, I'd let you have the mic, but I think you might be a bit tongue-tied. <laughs> Give it up one more time for Trey. Well, that's about it. Let's do loss. Let's carry on to the next uh, scene. What a night! I'm thinking Pavones to celebrate. Isn't that place super expensive? It's on me. Well, technically my parents, but we deserve it. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Now get that heat blasting. Uh oh, that's weird. That's not good. The gas is full. I'll, I'll call them back later. Well, maybe they can help with the car. And we can tell them about our first matches. No. Hey, it's Red. You're on speaker. Oh, hi there. Are you visiting Denver at college? What? Uh, now's not really a good time. Why? Is something wrong? Or are you having car trouble? Yeah, we are. How, how'd you know that? Just hang up. Cut the crap. We remotely disabled the SUV because we know you're not at school. And we're pretty sure you never were. We got an alert about a substantial charge in Canada for something called Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And then after we looked into it, we discovered charges for the past few months, including a crazy hotel bill, gas, food, clothes, you name it. Do you know how disappointed I was when I realized I was going to have to return all those reward points? I was this close to a free trip. This close! It is not about the stupid points. We were hoping you'd come clean on your own about all of this, but I guess you're just gonna keep on lying. Hey, wait. Look, this is what I want to do with my life, and no matter how many times I told you that, you still didn't support me. So I was pretty much forced to lie. Would you rather I be miserable at school? Of course not, but you have to be realistic. You are never going to make it as a pro wrestler. There's a better chance of me dating a supermodel. Frank! Which is impossible because your mom is stunning and I would never date anyone else. I will make it. And when I do, you'll wish you would have had my back before I was successful and famous. It's not too late to try to put all this behind us. We'll activate the SUV if you come home now. Then I can try to get you re-enrolled in school for next semester. You're gonna have to ship the car home, because I'm staying here to pursue my dreams. Maybe someday you'll understand that. Oh, damn. Hey, wait! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. I'd rather that happen than talk to you right now. Leave me alone. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. We set out to do this together, and this doesn't change anything. I mean, other than the fact we now don't have a car or somewhere to sleep, but you know what I mean. I still want to do this if you do. I appreciate your loyalty, but you lied to your parents and me about what we were doing here. And you basically sat back and let me steal from them. Don't worry about the money. I'll pay them back. And I'm sorry, but you've always told me to take the advice from my birth parents' letter, right? About following my dreams? Well, that's all I was trying to do. You didn't need to lie to do that. It's the only way I could see this working. But I'll never keep a secret from you again, I promise. From now on, it's total honesty between the two of us, okay? You're gonna know everything, even how many times a month I shave my toes. The hell? You shave your toes? Weird. See? 
I'm an open book. So, no more secrets, okay? I know he said no more what secrets. But you can't tell him ours. It will ruin him. What? What's, what secret? Okay. No more secrets. The hell? So now what do we do? We're carless and without the credit card. Pretty soon we'll be homeless. I think our only option is to hit the road and try to make some money on the indies. But we'll have to start roughing it like actual up-and-coming wrestlers. You think we have enough cash for a new car? I wouldn't say new. Hmm. Well, let's see what's gonna happen between these two. But yeah, I don't know what secret that she got with that conscious in her head from the other red. I don't know what secret it is, so I guess I gotta find out later on in my career. Oh boy. We managed to get a used car that fell under our budget, probably because it also fell under various recalls and safety violations. Do we stick our phones in this slot? Nothing's happening. I think that's a tape deck. This car doesn't exactly have the latest features. Roughing it, remember? Right. So I'm assuming there's no Bluetooth. No, but I did find an actual tooth in the trunk. Shark or human? Human, I think. Lame. Well, now that we have our extremely safe and luxurious ride that may or may not have had a body in the trunk at some point. What the hell? Where to? We do have Wrestle in Memphis on the list. Assuming this piece of junk can make it that far, then I guess we're headed to the great state of South Carolina. That is where Memphis is, right? Close. Maybe I should drive. It's fine. I got this. Oh, nah. Is that the also a feature on older cars? Steering wheel just came nope. off the goddamn Don't car. Don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I guess that's it for uh, episode three. What in the heck? Okay. That's weird. A weird, ma I, I'm, I'm guessing that's a mascot in a wrestling ring. Oi. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as we are troll well, trolling into the night of the road, we'll be seeing you guys for more WWE 2K20 My Career Mode of Episode 4, which is going to happen sooner than you think. So stay tuned. Don't you get anywhere. So we'll be seeing you guys pretty soon for more. I'm Trey Kent. Godspeed.